Welcome to Meile TV. I'm Jörn Meyer. I'm the technical trainer here at Meile. Today we will perform a gearbox oil change on a ZF8HP gearbox. Here on the desk you see all necessary parts needed for the oil change. We have 8 liter specific gearbox oil, the oil pan with the filter included. Here we have a detailed instruction manual. We have new bolts for the oil pan and we have a new filling plug with a new o-ring. I will perform the oil change now and I think we see at the car. After we have now removed the under tray, we remove both of these brackets and then we drain the gearbox oil. While I do the oil changes on the gearboxes, I always check the electrical connection at the uh, gearbox. The sleeve where the wiring harness goes into the gearbox. Here in this particular situation, the oil is leaking out, so we will replace the sleeve. Why we do this now where the oil pan, pan is off? Because here when the oil pan is off, we can access one bolt and a bracket we have to remove and then we can slide out the sleeve and replace, uh, sorry, replace it quite easily. When placing the new socket sleeve, make sure the guiding pin is lined up with the slot on the gearbox housing. Tighten with 8 Nm. Now we will fit the oil pan with the integrated filter element and after this we will fill the gearbox. Please follow the proper talking sequence. With the engine running, shift through the entire range of gears. Hold for at least three seconds on each gear.
tighten the filling plug with 35 Newton meters. Bring the automatic gearbox oil temperature within the range of 30 to 50 degrees. This car is equipped with an external oil cooler, therefore we have to overfill the gearbox oil with around uh, half a liter gearbox oil. As you saw previously, it's dripping out quite a lot. To open up the oil cooler thermostat, we must bring the automatic gearbox oil temperature up to 75 degrees at least. Afterwards, you must check the oil level and top up if necessary. After completing the automatic gearbox oil change, you should take the car for a test drive. 